it is a trap and you may say to me Kevin what do you mean it is a trap you have been trying to change your life you have been trying to give your life to Jesus Christ and let's say you have been successful in it and let's say there is a person that comes along and let's say you have gotten close that close to that person or not so much even close to that person let's say that individual is a co-worker or your boss or someone that is around where you have to be and let's say they began talking to you in the wrong way treating you the wrong way all this stuff like that we can't say that is a coincidence i believe what is happening that person is being used by a demon or demons to get you to stray away from Jesus Christ. I truly believe it. Why not? I believe the Bible says, you know, let me say it in my own war, in my own words, we are in a spiritual war. So if we are in a spiritual war, would it be far-fetched to say that a demon is influencing someone to get you off track with Jesus Christ? I believe so. Don't fall for it. If someone is treating you so poorly to where you are second guessing or losing encouragement to live for Jesus Christ, just know it is a demonic trap. If something is always telling you inside of your mind that you need to get revenge, you need to do something evil back, you need to be a mean person, so on and so on, that is a demonic trap. I believe demons can almost use anyone to discourage you. I am trying to tell you. It doesn't matter what happens. Let's say at one point in time, there were some people around you who would serve God. And let's say they all stopped serving God. Does that mean you should stop serving God? You better not. You should continue living for Jesus Christ no matter what happens to you. Even if everyone around you stopped serving God. Let me stop here though. May God bless us.